Greetings, back again here with a uh, repair video. Now, this is not exactly gaming related. Um, well, I guess in a way it is. Uh, but uh, what I have here is a Samsung monitor. And this is a uh, SyncMaster 226BW. And the problem with this is that uh, when you switch it on, uh, the screen will flash for a while. Um, for you get a clear picture and uh, I'll show you what I mean here I'm not sure exactly how well this will show up on camera but uh, I have it hooked up to this uh, laptop here so we'll switch it on and if you can see that it's it's uh, flashing and it will do so for a while before the picture stabilizes and this is uh, a fairly common problem with these uh, monitors. Uh, let's switch that off again. Uh, but yeah, it's a pretty common uh, uh, problem. And it's usually caused by bad capacitors. So I'm going to open this one up here and uh, have a look on the board inside and see if I can uh, uh, replace any uh, broken capacitors and uh, hopefully get this. Uh, working again. Alright, so I thought I'd start by showing how to take this apart. And uh, the first thing you need to do is to uh, remove the foot. And uh, this is held in place with uh, three screws over here. So you remove those and remove the foot. And uh, you have one screw underneath here and another one on this uh, side here and the third one over here so uh, you remove those as well and then you can start lifting this up and what I did then was I took a uh, small flathead uh, screwdriver and I went along the edge of the monitor and I I put it in there and started prying it open like that uh, all the way around until uh, the back part here came off so we'll remove that uh, and then over here you have this uh, shielding here and can remove that and underneath here there are some wires these ones are attached over here and these over here so you detach those and then on the other side there's another wire it's attached over here you can just pull that out and uh, this was uh, taped down here so I just removed the tape and then over here there's another set of wires that uh, you press on the ends here and can unplug that and once you got all that detached you can lift this up here and underneath this uh, we have the two boards here so uh, next up here I'm going to uh, take this out here and see if I can find uh, the capacitors that are broken. Okay, so we have uh, two boards and these are uh, connected to each other with these wires here. And uh, the smaller board has the VGA and DBI uh, outputs. And uh, this is held in place with one screw over here and then four of these uh, on the connectors. So if we lift this up here, we have two on each connector. So uh, remove those, and uh, the board just slides out like that. And we can flip this over. Now I had a look at this, and I couldn't find anything wrong with uh, with it. 
uh, all the components look fine so uh, the problem must be with the uh, larger board but um, I thought I'd show you this anyway um, so uh, this one uh, has uh, three screws uh, holding it in place uh, one over here one over here and the third one over here and this one was also holding this piece in place and this was sitting uh, like that so remove the screw and this came off and then can I just lift the board up and if we turn this over and have a look down here we have uh, two capacitors uh, that are leaking so these are the ones that we need to replace so let's uh, take a closer look at these alright so uh, these are the two capacitors here and uh, both of these are 820 microfarad uh, 25 volts so we need to desolder these and uh, then replace them with the new ones here and as always when replacing capacitors it's important to make a note of where the negative leg is so on these two you can see we have a grey stripe going down the side here and the same on this one and uh, that indicates uh, the negative leg so I'm gonna go ahead and desolder these ones Alright, so the old capacitors are removed and uh, now I can put the new ones in place and uh, solder them onto the board and as I mentioned uh, it's really important to uh, put them uh, in the correct way here so you can see here we have the markings for the negative leg and also the negative leg is always the shorter one so it will go in like that so I'm gonna put this in place uh, solder them to the board and hopefully that will solve the problem so the new capacitors are in place and uh, all I need to do now is put the monitor back together and I can test it alright so I have the monitor put back together so let's uh, switch it on again and as you can see here uh, the flickering is gone so replacing those uh, broken capacitors seems to have uh, fixed uh, the problem now if you want to do this uh, properly I would suggest uh, replacing all the capacitors because sooner or later they are going to break so definitely uh, when you're doing this replace all of them uh, but for now I'm just gonna leave it at this and uh, that's all I had to show this time so bye for now and I'll see you soon